Okay. A restaurant on South Claiborne Avenue is where this live stream ended. But the owner says you have to go to the beginning to understand why he felt it necessary to slam a camera on the ground. I mean, I'm in New Orleans and you get one of the song. This man who goes by the name Ice Poseidon is an internet gamer who streams his live experiences wherever he visits. We're at the MGM Grand just in case uh, if you wanted to know. So. Oftentimes bringing his live stream inside establishments. Can I buy this? Last Thursday he live streamed in New Orleans, walking the streets and going inside several places, none of which caused an issue until he told his followers where he was headed. While en route to the restaurant, someone watching live posted in the comments section saying, I told him that Paul Danino was coming and he's a threat. The store owner says 15 minutes before the live streamer showed up, someone called his business warning him about a man planning to shoot people while live streaming. Coming off the events in Cleveland where a man killed another man on video and then posted it to Facebook, the store owner who declined to talk on camera says he wasn't taking any chances. Okay. Fox 8 legal analyst Joe Respondi says no matter the circumstances, it still doesn't give the store owner the right to break a camera. The other person allegedly calling up and telling this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like the guy reacted in that way anyway. He just told the guy, turn your camera off, which he had a right to do. But then I think he went too far and that allegedly he broke his camera. So that's going past the line. Respondi says even though a restaurant is a private business, anyone inside can freely take video until they're asked to stop. It depends on the type of business. If I have a restaurant that people come in and out off the street, there's really a lessened expectation of privacy. Use an example of a law office. If somebody walks in, goes past the receptionist, and walks down the hallway in a lawyer's office and starts taping them, that may be, that may be a little different, or, or a doctor's office even more so. And social media experts warn you should be weary when you go live because anything is possible and anything can happen. The real-time nature of what these trolls and, and what these um, online commenters can do is, is growing and becoming really kind of crazy. Social media consultant Tiffany Starnes also advises business owners be as accommodating to live streamers as possible because a negative reaction to a live post can go viral. Just as I would warn business owners that this is going to keep happening, you know, it's important to arm the, the live streamers and the publishers. This is a very new media. You know, this is, this is brand new and, and the rules are kind of being made as we go along. It's a little bit of the Wild West. So enter at your own risk, but also, you know, be, be prepared for what that might mean. Ryan Nakan, Fox 8 News.